uh, looking at uh, some of the Oracle Fusion Cloud SEM25D uh, features and functionality that has been released by Oracle. So today our focus is mainly on the procurement and uh, mainly the purchasing area as well. So as mentioned for the, over the last uh, uh, few releases, uh, starting from 25A onwards, there has been a predominant uh, uh, this one update on the Redwood part. So this time also, as part of 25D, uh, uh, we are seeing a predominant uh, uh, updates on the Redwood area itself. So moving on to the first one, uh, that is on the common procurement area. You have the uh, use Redwood style procurement notification. So this. What it mainly does is, uh, uh, earlier we used to have the uh, classic uh, no, uh, procurement notification. Now, uh, the uh, using this Redwood uh, style, uh, the user can set those uh, notification in place. And uh, for setting this, you need to use Oracle Analytic Publisher to configure the notification content uh, in order to meet uh, the specific uh, business requirements. And uh, some of those notifications that has been included as part of the process uh, is mainly purchase document email report, uh, which contains mainly the subject uh, content uh, to the supplier. Then we have the uh, seller negotiation award decision notification report. Then on any of the seller negotiation bid uh, be, uh, for the supplier which has been disqualified, those notification report and for seller negotiation, whenever there is a change in schedule, uh, those uh, change schedule notifications notification report and also on the uh, seller negotiation invitation notification report. So these are some of those notifications uh, which uh, Oracle has included as part of the Red Dot style procurement and notifications. Uh, so that is mainly on the common procurement area. Now moving on to purchasing. Uh, the first one is mainly to access any document directly from the purchasing uh, landing page. So uh, if you uh, see in the red dot, uh, they have introduced something called as a quick access. If you see the screenshot, we have here over here the quick access. Using this uh, in the landing page itself, the user can search mainly for the orders and they can navigate to the orders uh, directly. So this is uh, not really uh, restricted uh, to orders. You can uh, do the same for purchase agreements, uh, requisitions, and all those things. So this is like kind of a search uh, functionality they have, they have added as part of the uh, Red Dot landing page. The next feature that we have as part of the Red Dot is mainly on the processing those uh, requisition line into purchase order and negotiation uh, documents in real time. So whenever the user try processing these negotiations, they have those options either to uh, create uh, the purchase order or to initiate those nego uh, negotiations. And automatically, once uh, those has been initiated, you will receive those. Uh, purchase order or the negotiation uh, document numbers will be uh, 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 those uh, numbers will be uh, visible for you so that will be immediately available you can click on uh, those purchase orders and negotiations and based on that you can uh, perform those uh, tasks accordingly so earlier we need to wait till that uh, back end uh, schedule process uh, gets completed so as to view the purchase orders or the negotiation now you can uh, automatically uh, view those immediately Now Oracle has also, as part of the Red Dot, Oracle has also introduced something called as a specified line grouping instruction when processing a requisition line into purchase orders. Now using this capability, uh, what one can do is, uh, one has the ability to group the requisition lines based on uh, certain criteria. So you have these four options which are mainly there. One is mainly to not group those lines. So in those cases, for each requisition line, you can have its own order line which is being created. You have those options mainly to group line always. Using these options, uh, the system will take into consideration a few pa parameters like the line type and all those things. And based on that, it will group those requisition into the fewest possible uh, purchase order lines. The third one is mainly to group lines manually. So using this option, uh, uh, you will be able to provide the order line number 
for each uh, requisition line and you can specify which requisition lines can be combined into a single order line so this is uh, one which you can do it manually then uh, you have the group lines using application defaults so this take into consideration whatever is the sit uh, system settings uh, that we have configured for the bu level and all all the other levels and based on that it will uh, update it accordingly and uh, if you see in the process requisition page, uh, you have this uh, line grouping option as mainly there. So based on the option, it will create those orders accordingly. So this is also one of the functionality uh, which has been added as part of uh, 25D. The next one, the next functionality that we have on the Redwood is mainly to view the process requisition lines as a buyer. So in this case, uh, what it mainly does is, as a buyer on the uh, this one, uh, yeah, as a buyer, you will be able to uh, search or to view those requisition lines, uh, which are mainly placed on a purchase order or a negotiation line. So here, if you see. Uh, you have various options which are mainly there. You can see those unprocessed lines. You can see all the lines, the stage lines and unassigned lines so on top. You have this option where you will be able to view the requisition that is also being processed into a purchase order or negotiation. So those details you can see as part of this uh, functionality. So earlier only uh, the requisition which are mainly uh displayed are mainly the approved uh, requisition lines that are awaiting by your processing now you have those uh, which are unprocessed also you will be able to view as a buyer Uh, again, on the red dot side, another functionality that has been introduced as part of 25D is mainly to view and configure the purchase order metrics. So what it mainly does is uh, you have those options uh, using uh, the metrics and visualization from Oracle, Oracle uh, Transactional Business Intelligence subject area. You can use it and based on that, you can uh, add in your metrics into your layout. So uh, this is one functionality which has been added. And for performing this, you need to have the uh, administrators should have those certain privileges. Once they have those privileges only, they will be able to edit the page layout and they will be able to add in the metrics as part of the existing uh, metrics. For example, here, uh, if you see uh, in this example, pending acknowledgement by supplier, they have added it as part of the metrics in the uh, purchase order landing page. The next uh, functionality or feature uh, which is being added as part of the Red Dot is and now uh, with the Red Dot coming in place, the users will be able to create and edit uh, purchase orders for inventory items as well. So uh, you have those options where the uh, users will be able to create purchase orders for stockable items in the uh, Red Dot purchasing page and uh, they can also receive them into the inventory as well. So as part of the process, you have those options mainly to specify the sub inventory where the item needs to be stored at a schedule level. Uh, you can have those uh, details uh, filled in. And if you see the screenshot at a line schedule level, uh, you have those uh, destination type where you can uh, choose between expense as well as inventory as part of a red dot UI. Uh, the next uh, functionality that we have is mainly to create and edit purchase orders so as to fulfill uh, sales orders. So 
so in this uh, functionality you have those option mainly to create and edit purchase orders to fulfill your back to back as well as a drop ship uh, sales orders using the red dot page so as part of the functionality at uh, schedule level you will be able to see what is the ship to uh, customer as well as a customer sales order field is mainly visible and once you uh, click on those uh, customer level details you will be able to see more uh, details of that uh, customer so this is mainly pertaining to those uh, purchase orders, uh, which is uh, as part of the back to back or uh, dropship uh, sales order flow. On a similar note, uh, they have. So on a similar note, uh, what uh, uh, Oracle has mainly introduced is may also the procure configured item to fulfill sales order. So similar to our customer sales order for those configured items also, you will be able to see more details of those uh, configured items like the option class, the option, the sub assemblies that uh, make up those configured items. So those things are as being added as part of the red dot uh, part. So here, if you see uh, the purchase order is mainly there and you will see the item level details. And uh, once you expand that item, you will be able to view what all are the mo model uh, which has being used or uh, where, what all are the options which are mainly uh, uh, added as part of this uh, configured item. The next uh, functionality that uh, we have is on the red dot is to create and edit purchase orders to fulfill work orders. So uh, on the red dot uh, team itself, they have added uh, one is mainly the sales order. The second one is mainly the configured item to fulfill those sales orders. And uh, moving on from the manufacturing side, uh, we have those purchase orders to fulfill those work orders also. The work order level details are mainly uh, now uh, available for the users in the purchase order screen. So you will be able to create and edit uh, purchase orders for procuring goods or services uh, to fulfill the work orders. So whatever the goods and services, this is applicable for both maintenance as well as manufacturing work orders. And it is also included for the outside processing uh, services that uh, is partially uh, for, uh, for that is partially fulfilled uh, using those uh, outside uh, processing operations. So these work order details on the purchase order screen itself, they will be able to see when they are clicking on when they are editing or when they are acknowledging those purchase orders or uh, those change orders accordingly. So on a similar note, uh, uh, so sales order has been included, configured item for sales order has been included, work order has been included. Now uh, on the uh, my, or now on the consigned inventory also, uh, they have added those option wherein uh, you can see those consignment uh, details as part of the purchase orders. So with this functionality, one will be able to create and manage purchase orders in Redwood for consigned inventory items and uh, you can generate the purchasing documents whatever is uh, sourced from the consignment agreement uh, accordingly so if you see the screenshots associated for those consignment order you will be able to see those consignment lines and as part of the consignment lines you will be able to see more details as to the receipts and the invoices which are there for the consigned inventory So uh, enable buyer managed transportation for purchasing documents. So this functionality is already uh, was available in the classic UI. Now in the Red Dot uh, functionality, they have included this flag for buyer managed transportation. So using this uh, uh, while creating those purchase order, you will be able to mention whether uh, the transportation is managed by the buyer or not.
So uh, through this, you can uh, uh, provide those details as to who will assume those responsibilities on the transportation of the ordered goods, whether it will be the buy buying organization or not. So if you see in the screenshot, this is where uh, you will be able to update those and this is part of the terms. On the Redwood, uh, you have the purchase project specific inventory is also there where uh, you will be able to create purchase order for inventory replenishment and in this you will be able to specify those project level details as to uh, which project what is the task to which it needs to be assigned so you can enter or change uh, whatever is the project details for the goods uh, with the inventory destination and uh, this can be done as part of your edit or uh, whenever you create those change orders As part of a red dot, one of the functionality uh, that they have incorporated is mainly to review the purchase order change as well as a revision history. So one, uh, the user or the buyer will be able to review any change or revision histories uh, which has happened to the purchase orders from a red dot uh, page. So uh, what uh, is being brought by the uh, red dot update is here, by uh, uh, clicking on actions uh, for that particular order, you will be able to have that option in order to view those order history. So from the order history, you will be able to uh, view what all are the uh, changes or the revisions which has happened uh, mainly for that purchase order. The next uh, functionality on the purchasing is uh, again on the red dot uh, where to view those negotiation details for purchase orders as well as agreements. So those uh, details now uh, will be visible on the purchase order screen where uh, they can click on those negotiation number and uh, they can uh, drill down and view those negotiation details. So this has been also added as part of 25B, uh, 25D update. And this will be visible as part of the schedule support. Another functionality uh, on the red dot, uh, which has been added, is mainly to. Uh, purchase items that are priced in the secondary UOM. So with this uh, 25D rollout, uh, the users will be able to create purchase orders for uh, dual UOM controlled items on the Reddit page. So here, if you see from the screenshot, you have those options uh, for uh, primary quantity as well as secondary quantity, and you also have the secondary UOMs using which you can order those items. So based on whatever the value that you enter for the secondary quantity uh, in the secondary UOM, automatically the ordered quantity in the primary uh, UOMs uh, will be calculated by the system in the background. So this is what we have on the uh, purchase item that are mainly priced in the secondary UOM part. So these are some of those uh, uh, functionalities uh, which are mainly incorporated. Similarly, on the purchasing side, uh, on the Red Dot part, there are uh, ma major functionalities which has being incorporated on the Red Dot part itself. So those uh, we will cover as part of the 
nest uh, session and uh, on these options whatever has been shown right now on our nest session i will show it in the uh, application as well 